Welcome back. You're watching the number one home improvement YouTube channel in the entire world. Today, I'm standing next to a booby trap, a death trap. We've got, shouldn't even be here right now. This wire here, it's in tension, is starting to fray and coming apart, risking my life for YouTube. This is part of it that is supposed to be connected there. I'll bring you in close so you can see what to look for on your garage. Ideally, you wouldn't let it get this far because we now have just very, very few strands. This thing can come unleashed and you, know, you could kill somebody. This is an older style spring. Even though this door doesn't look very old, you can see quite modern. It's just not typically used. Yeah, there's the attachment point for the spring. Comes all the way forward to a pulley. And you can see this is the one I've got to replace. I'll open the door to release the tension on the spring and then we'll be, we'll be safe. And we can replace, replace this. See how this used to be connected there? Not good, I don't wanna let it get that far. It'll show you uh, signs way earlier than a cable frayed and flapping in the breeze. So I think we've got just a few tiny little pieces left before someone dies. Now filming in garages isn't all that easy because I'm always backlit. So I've got my trailer pulled up right outside the door to try to block some of that light out. I've got spotlights on me. So hopefully you can see everything I'm doing. Uh, when it gets down to uh, a close up, I'll bring the camera in and show you where I'm making the connections or disconnecting the cable. Our spring tension is, is much less and we can actually work on this safely. You can see how how easy this really is to replace. There's just this little S hook here. It's kind of tied into this little, oh, it's like a little cleat there. That's just a little knot and that's what holds the cable in there. And going back and right here is where it broke. And I've looked around and I don't, you know, I've, I've checked the pulley and I don't see anything in there that would cause chafed. It's possible that it's gotten caught underneath the cable and and rubbed. We'll, we'll check that out once we get it replaced. Here's the other connection point right here. Right there. Well, step one is to unhook this. See how light the spring tension is? I can easily just go like that. It's gonna let that one drop. This came right off that. So the customer has provided me with a cable that they believe is the right cable for this. And it is just barely long enough. It's a little bit thicker in diameter. I gotta try not to impale myself on this. This goes over the pulley and down onto that little hook right here. See how that's gonna lift? It's a close up, up over the pulley. Down, hook onto there. And we're coming back through this pulley. And then we go forward. Oops. See, now we can put a little bit of tension on it when we hook it up to that S hook. So you can see how I have it just weaved through there. So I'm gonna loosen this up, just like that. And then that little clamp is going on the end of this to make sure it doesn't pull through here. I just wanted to see what that spring tension is. And it's not bad, not bad. Hardly any spring tension on there. This goes on here like that, and then we tighten that down. There's a close-up tightened so that that cable is flattened out and now we just hook it on. This just supports the spring. That's it. Just to keep it supported. I think there's a little too much slack in this because this can get caught up on things. So I'm going to tighten that up just a hair so that it stays at about that position. This is how that one attaches to the bracketry that holds the garage door up. Keep in mind, it's just to support the spring. It does nothing else. It's never in tension. 
here and show you just how that works. See, it goes right into the spring. It's just a locator cable. And the spring kind of slides on this as the garage door goes down. Stand back, fire in the hole. Job is done. Uh, any homeowner can do this. I think they may have thought they were gonna do this. That's how, why they already have the cables. Very simple to do. I'm gonna run it up and down, like I said, make sure everything's good to go. I'm gonna check all the other cables on all the other garage doors uh, just to make sure that there isn't something that they don't see. They use this garage door the most. Those ones rarely ever go up and down, so they might not be over there noticing that frayed cable. On my inspections, I found another very dangerous area. This is where they have that knot instead of a clamp. So right there, this is ready to go. There's several that are broken. Well, we'll do the exact same thing on this side that I did on the other side. Had a couple simple home repairs for you the last couple of videos. Uh, in the next couple of videos we're going to be building something just trying to keep things switched up for you so you don't get bored of the same thing any questions put them down below click the bell click the like button if you could